What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and I've been getting a lot of you guys, even from the last video, you guys have been writing out more names that you guys want me to review about your free golden ticket that's going to be coming May 29th once you complete all the challenges. Some of you guys are asking about Muhammad Sanu. Now I just showed you as we came to this point that his card is relatively cheap. Now I know and you guys have let, you know, let me know and it's very very clear, I've already said this to you. There is no real way to make a lot of coins right now. All the coin methods are actively dead. You're gonna need a promo, you're gonna need rerolls, you're gonna need something else to kind of revive the market for the last couple months that we have Madden 20. Um, you know, so leading up to that point, a lot of you guys, you wanna experiment with some of the cards, but you're nervous because if you go ahead and spend that million, you gotta give EA Sports their 10% back when you go to sell them. And a lot of you guys can't afford to lose that 100K. Trust me, I understand. I lost over 2 million selling back golden tickets. But as far as Mohamed Sanu goes, I think that this should be out of the question uh, for use in your free golden ticket. I'm going to explain to you why, very, very simple. Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the game. I don't care what any other quarterback is doing. The name of the game is being able to get the ball off without rolling around and running around like a complete and utter moron, right? So what happens is if you're not gonna do that and you need to get the ball out, you're gonna have to get a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. No matter how you kind of slice it, no matter what you do, the dude's throwing the precious garbage, all that stuff, it doesn't matter. He's still the best available, right? Mohamed Sanu, he has his good points. You know, his deep, his deep accuracy is outrageous at 97, so it easily gets kept to a 99. But would you want to get a quarterback that that's his main, uh, you know, attribute? Is that something that you want? Are you going to spend, you know, a million coins for just that? You could go ahead and grab, you know, Ryan Tannehill. You know, we had Ryan Tannehill. His his release was actually really good, um, but it wasn't Aaron Rodgers. You know, like when you go ahead and you utilize the other cards, you can kind of get a feel for what the cards do very very easily now some of them have glitchy releases you know Tua, all that stuff you guys want me to utilize but i don't have time for that foolishness because i already know what i'm going to expect i'm gonna get that you know like ea is not gonna make it so that a guy like Tua that's coming out is gonna be able to get the ball off like aaron Rodgers. it looks quick sort of like kyla murray they throw the ball very very fast it's still not aaron Rodgers. so if this is something that you're gonna utilize uh as a free golden ticket i keep telling you guys you want you want the golden ticket with the most value all right now if you don't go the most value and you say you know what a lot of you guys are writing about the bo jackson i actually bought bo jackson for like five million coins right and i played with him he was not worth five million coins if that's the card that you just want you don't care about anything else then you go and get bo jackson you see what i'm saying like it, it is what it is but certain tickets like you know uh this guy you got the agent peterson um brian burns those cards in my opinion are not worth the value because you should make sure even if put it like this right if i'm most of you guys that already have like your team set the way you want it you have your theme teams whatever blah 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 i would probably go ahead and get a calvin johnson because calvin johnson's value is not going to diminish he's way too big he has way like his attributes are way too high it's outrageous right and you might say to me okay but you might i don't need a free safety i don't you know I, why would i get calvin well based on the value of it that would make the most sense because at least defensively you know you're gonna have a 99 speed 6'5 guy running around like he has no brain cells and just picking everything off without lurker because once they if you keep him at the free safety position where he can roam you just got to be in the area ea is gonna cheat and he's gonna get you know he's gonna get you some picks so looking at his value he's one of the cards that has steadily maintained its value throughout the entire process now i purchased him and raid sold him back because I realized I didn't want to go ahead and spend that much at that time. But to have him as a free safety would actually be very, very good uh, for me and my team right now because he's so big. Now, I wanted to point out as well, some of you guys are like, yeah, bro, but Mohamed Sanu has a 99 carry. Well, I've played against Mohamed Sanu several times. I'm actually going to play against Mohamed Sanu Golden Ticket in this gameplay coming up right now. And I'm going to show you, but he doesn't fumble in this gameplay. But remember, at the quarterback position, EA does something to the card, regardless of the card, that makes them fumble. That's why Cam Newton drops the ball all the time. It doesn't matter who it is. They all drop the ball simply because it doesn't matter of, you know, other than the position, nothing really matters. So even if you go and you say, you know what, I'm going to use the QB wall to pay him. If you run outside the pocket with him, he's going to fumble. It doesn't make sense, but that's just the way it is. They make the position you know, by default, it's going to be a higher chance of a fumble. So that 99 carry doesn't mean anything. I played someone running the Saints playbook that was trying to run the QB inside and all that foolishness, a QB blast, 
And I, bro, every time I hit him, he fumbled. So those type of things, I want you guys to understand that clearly, you know, 99 stiff arm, really? Okay, cool. Like whoever made the car, shout out to that guy, bro. Like, I don't know what he was doing, but whatever. It is, it is something that makes it uh, more of a variety to have that kind of player, but EA should give us more of a service by making them actually not fumble and hold on to the ball and things like that. Because if that were the case, his price would be a lot higher. Uh, most of the people that get him and sell him back right away, they realize he fumbles just like a regular quarterback. So it really makes no sense. Why would you do that? You see what I'm saying? Like, why would you make the guy fumble as if he's a regular quarterback when his carrying is clearly 99? But that's neither here nor there. That's not the thing. It worked out pretty well because a lot of you guys flooded the comments with, you know, you you guys want to know my ideas about the free golden tickets and what it should be. Voila, Muhammad Sanu. So if you were one of those people that asked about Muhammad Sanu, go ahead and write the number three in the comment section. You can also feel free to jot down uh, some of the golden tickets you would want me to discuss uh, because leading up to the free golden ticket on May 29th, I know you guys still have a lot of questions. So feel free to continue to do that. And I will do that to the best of my ability, uh, go over them and let you guys know my opinion about it. But in this gameplay right here, you're going to see most people are still not going to run around and run read option and weird stuff with, uh, you know, Muhammad Sanu. They're just not going to do it because they're like, yo, you know what? It doesn't really matter. I don't know if you guys were here. If you guys were here for when I got Randall Cunningham, type the number two in the comment section. Randall Cunningham had a decent carry and I was running on conservative. Yeah, go ahead and keep bunny hopping, Kelvin. Um, I ran around a conservative and I was fumbling the ball even like no matter what I wasn't even getting a hit stick the dude was just touching me and I was fumbling the ball and Randall Cunningham is one of the higher carries for the quarterback position so that's when I realized this game is not geared for that it, it's not geared for you to come out and run some QB power action because by default even on conservative you're gonna fumble the ball why is that people were taking advantage of the fact that you could be on conservative all game and not fumble EA tuned it for the quarterback so now you can fumble you know still fumble with the actual uh quarterback uh, on conservative because earlier in the year dudes are just running around with you know no regard like bro okay i'm never gonna fumble he was like hold on let me fix that real quick come here real quick let me fix that and they took care of it which you know i understand it because it, it doesn't make sense that you're just running around the whole game with your quarterback dudes mad okay pick it running for six but you're fatigued and then because you're on conservative you can't fumble it is stupid so all right cool whatever I, I wouldn't even care though. I just keep trying to hit stick him and see if he's gonna fumble. But you guys saw a lot of footage out there uh, where dudes are just running around and would never fumble the ball. Because of that one tune, all QBs are gonna do that. So in my opinion, it's completely out of the question. You just saw him throw a pick. That doesn't really mean anything because this guy is not that good, so it doesn't matter. But just for the fact that these guys are running around with these quarterbacks and there's nothing impressive about them, it should let you know, like, all right, I probably shouldn't use, you know, I probably shouldn't use it on my QB, you know, on, on well, at least on this one. If you wanted to go Lamar Jackson and run the idiot offense and run outside the pocket and be a maniac, that's fine. You could do that. Like that, that's the way you're supposed to do it. Like, I'm not going to stop you. But again, is that something that you're going to want to do for the remainder of the year? You see what I'm saying? Is that, is that really worth it with all the other ones that are available? Is that something that's really worth it for you to do that? That's what you have to determine. After you figure that out, then you can figure out, you know, it's easier to go which way you want to go. But this guy is relatively cheap. If you just play challenges, even if you had no coins, you just started grinding challenges, you can make a million coins by the challenges that are available. There's so many things going on inside the challenge section. So you, you guys need to go there and grind it and you can afford him. You can snipe him. I seen him go for like 1.29. You guys can definitely snipe that and go ahead and do what you got to do. So um, I would definitely, if, I, if you guys wanted to get this guy, I would buy this guy and not utilize my free golden ticket because he's so cheap. It, it, it's such a cheap thing, so just go ahead and get it. But in my opinion, based on, like I was watching the way this guy threw the ball, obviously when he threw it, he had the one slant that was picked. He had another one that you know was, was incomplete. He's not really doing anything. And then Aaron Rodgers, look how fast that releases. Why would you not just stay with Aaron Rodgers and just wait for him to get another card? You know what I'm saying? Like it's a no brainer. Regardless of the type of offense you run, even if you need escape artists, Aaron Rodgers has it all. Now, he does have that low throw under pressure, and he is affected by anybody around him, and he will sail the ball, but he's still the best quarterback in the game, you know, hands down. So, in my opinion, I would not go after Golden Ticket Muhammad Sanu for your free Golden Ticket. I would probably, you know, like I said, I would. if you have no idea what you want to do, on the day that you get your option, go into the, go into the auction house and look at the most expensive Golden Ticket, and then pick that one. 
as long as it's not a quarterback. If it's a defense, I would prefer a defensive player. And then just go from there. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Please remember to continue to drop the cards you want me to review, and we'll go from there. Continue to be safe. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.